So, <laughs> have I got a story for you? Yes, I do. <gasps> so what happened to, to Daniel? Now, I'm not in an emo band. I've not just uh, put some makeup on and be like, I want to die in a tragic farm. I want nobody to be at my funeral. <laughs> but no, seriously, all jokes aside, um, I got beat up and robbed in Lisbon. What else can I say? It wasn't very nice. And I feel like a lot of people want to know what happened. So here's a wee story time. I was wandering the streets at night. Thankfully, I'd left my phone charging in my room in my hotel. And I left my wallet as well. And I thought I'd bring some cash out with me. And um, yeah, I walked out into the night. It was actually quite a rainy night in Lisbon. The weather was not being that good. I will say though, Lisbon is in general a very safe city. And a lot of people were shocked uh, when they found out. And uh, yeah, this could happen anywhere. There's just, there's always those individuals, those nasty people. And I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. So what happened was a guy put his arm around me. He was pretending to be all my friend and stuff, but he was really, you know, holding me really tight around my neck. And I pulled his arm off and said, hey, bro, like, leave him. And, I, and apparently that was enough to uh, provoke him and his friend to then come over. And it looked like one of them was going to go in for a knife or something like that. I was really worried. I was genuinely worried, so I ran. I had Doc Martens on, like an absolute, yeah, just... I'd only just bought Doc Martens, like, a few months ago. Now, I had these Doc Martens on, and I hadn't tied my laces properly. So I'm running up this hill, these two big guys chasing after me, and I trip over the laces and I fall down. Running uphill with Doc Martens on, man, that is a workout and a half, I'll tell you. But yeah, after that, they got me down on the ground and they were punching into my head, my chest, and it wasn't very nice. They got my watch, I said, take my money, take it, take it, just take oh. it. And then they took it, and after they took it, they continued to punch into my face. Um, luckily, I was protecting my face, I think if I, if I wasn't, then... I don't know what could have happened, but um, thankfully I don't have a concussion. Um, and I have a bruised ribs and bru I'm, I'm in pain all over my body, but no, I, I, all my teeth still here. I'm still alive. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video just to say that I actually did just start my digital nomad journey. I'd arrived in Faro in the Algarve and I was there for two and a half weeks in a place called Lagos. It was an absolutely beautiful place. Um, very small town. I thought, do you know what? I want to change the scenery. I'm going to go to Lisbon. And I'd just arrived in Lisbon. <sighs> These things happen sometimes on travel. Um, and I'm not going to let it discourage me. You know why? Because there's always a silver lining. I'm a half cup full type of guy. And I got a free nose job out of it. Now, if you've noticed from my videos, my nose was always very, like, kind of over there a wee bit more. But they've actually punched my nose straight. Now, it's got a wee bit of swelling, but when that goes down, it's absolutely almost perfection. So, free nose job, motherfuckers. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not going to quit my journey. I'm not going to go home. A lot of people were like, oh, are you going to go home? Nope. I'm going to continue just travelling, working living, I'm going to document, writing, reading, just one of my favourite heroes was uh, Hemingway and Hemingway had a couple of plane crashes and stuff like that so I'm inspired to just keep going, I'm recovering right now, I'm processing the trauma, I know you're probably be like, the trauma, it was traumatic, um, I didn't know if they were going to stop punching me or not, it was actually quite scary but <sighs> Yeah, I just want to share the love that everything's happening, everything's fine. So, yeah.